What is going on guys, Craig1287 here, I'm bringing you some Battlefield 4 gameplay, rocking out some Operation Whiteout in Conquest. And I know it's been a while since I have uploaded any videos, that's because, well, the holidays happened. Uh, things like Thanksgiving were going on, I had some relatives that were visiting us, uh, and so I had to go be social and hang out at the parents' place and and talk with the relatives and all that stuff, but had a ton of fun hanging out with them and and catching up on things and all sorts of good stuff, so... But I did still game quite a bit, and I uh, got some footage here just rocking out with some of the TG guys, a round in which I go 47-1 and one in Conquest, which is pretty knucking futz. Uh, you start out here, you see I'm uh, rocking out the Little Bird, and this was after some patch, it, uh, it, actually this might have been one of the very first few, no, I don't think this was one of my first few rounds in these, yeah, it was some patch that they did, and, it's been a while, and, um, something screwed up, uh, through battle log, and all of your, uh, loadouts got, like, reset, um, Attachments and whatnot were still good, but you just had to reattach the weapons, you had to reattach gadgets, but for vehicles, the loadouts go were all screwed up, so I had like the bare bones loadout on my little bird, but I was still wrecking fools. I went on uh, something like a 10 kill streak in that little bird with just the miniguns. I didn't have the cooldown thing to be able to shoot faster, I didn't have the um, air to ground, air to surface, uh, that lock on laser guided rocket to take out vehicles and whatnot, so. I just kept taking their choppers out and shooting at infantry and went on a pretty darn good spree. But this right here, what you're seeing now, is what I did pretty much 99% of the rest of the round. There's a few times I had to hop out and kill people near us, uh, shooting them with the SR2. Uh, expect a video focused on that weapon at some point. But, um, yeah, just with, uh, with Imp driving this, this beast of a tank... Uh, the hover tank, we just wrecked these guys. I don't know why we stayed alive so long and went on the killings. I, again, 47 and 1 is crazy for, for conquest. Uh, but I mean, you'll notice throughout the video, these guys don't really try to kill us all that often. I mean, out of all the modes, whenever I'm in conquest mode, I typically will 90% of the time play as the engineer. Rush, I'll be uh, assault most of the time. Sometimes I'll switch to support if we need it, but rarely plays engineer. But in in conquest, always rock out engineer because vehicles just destroy. I'm not the biggest fan of vehicle gameplay. I don't I don't enjoy it all that much compared to the infantry gameplay. But I am a fan of winning, and I have made it uh i've made it you know one of my goals to be decent at uh vehicles i use them a lot more than i have in any other battlefield game ever uh because they just do dominate and um yeah here's where uh one of these guys gets up close to us i thought they were a jihad jeeper but they just got stuck near us or something but um yeah so um and vehicles in these new maps these final stand maps these maps are huge vehicles are a huge deal uh, I mean, heck, it's got a map where you can put there's three attack choppers going at some point if, you know, if they're all up and alive and not blown up. So, yeah, vehicles are a huge deal in these new maps. And, um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know if the, the enemy team just, uh, there's a lot of people that try to see fours a lot, but it's so hard to see four. These hover tanks, you get run over so easily. It's, uh, I mean, you you can always tell where the the pilot the driver is facing unlike in other tanks where sometimes it can be a little tricky the tank could be facing one way but the turret could be facing the other way so it can be tricky to figure out how to flank a tank to see for it however these hover tanks i but you can spin so quickly that you you can't really sneak up on them and i just did such a beast job gunning and checking our flanks and whatnot all the time that Nobody was ever able to uh, see for us, and um, so they were trying that, but if, if these guys had just rocked out javelins or straws or I mean, any dumb fire or anything for that matter, uh, they, they could have taken us out. I, I don't know if the loadout reset, I mean, that shouldn't have been a big deal, because after getting killed by us so many times and, and finally dying, these guys should have been like, oh, okay, I'm respawning, I should probably 
changed my loadout, just like all of us did. I, you know, I cut out five minutes of this video was cut out because I was just going through uh, fixing my loadout. And, um, yeah, this is actually a really long round. It was around uh, 30 minutes, I think, initially. I, I've cut it down to uh, eight and a half minutes. And because a lot of the kills were just, you know, one one kill here and there, because, you know, again, 47 kills is, is quite a lot, but it was scattered out around such a long round, and there were just a lot of one-and-done, kind of just shot a guy and not much happened elsewhere. Uh, for the next you know few seconds, so um, I always like to edit my videos in a way that I think that they're you know always entertaining with good action, relatively paced throughout the video. So uh, you know I edit those kind of things out. So, uh, but it was a fun round. I'm really really enjoying these final stand maps. Uh, me and the other TG guys, we are having a blast. Uh, on these new maps, I really hope that you know people keep playing them, stick around for a while. Everybody always reverts back to the vanilla maps uh, it, at some point, but I'm hoping these do stick around. Uh, hopefully, longer than the naval, the naval strike ones, which were my favorite maps like ever uh, for well for Battlefield 4 at least. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay. I'm gonna let the last two minutes play out because uh, this final scene is pretty darn intense. So hope you guys do enjoy it. Have a good one. Ta ta. I'm still alive. Uh, a whole lot of infantry yeah, in front of us. Icicles. <sighs> Icicles are back. Ignore that snow speeder. It's called snowmobile, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Too many syllables, dang it! Actually, no. Oh, oh. The little Helicopter good guy. Snow speeder to our left. Two enemies. Craig, it's a snowmobile. Snow speeders don't exist. It's a snow speeder. <laughs> Whoa, like a oh my god, they're still all in this test range! Oh my gosh! I just went on a crazy spree there. Alright, I think we have Alpha. There's still one more en enemy up here. I think you should share, share this battle report. No, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, I committed suicide. Oh, apparently. oh wow, that was it. Ah! Game just crashed. I couldn't hear the friggin' in-game music over the <laughs> of that of that tank. That was a great hey, round. And everyone says the tank's worth it. Oh yeah. I told you that so thing's great. so good. It's so easy to position. Strafing machine. It actually makes tank fights fun. Well, there's no really limits to where the my, tank goes. My problem with it is it's just hard to aim like horizontally. Like I've had a problem with it. Yeah, I mean it's, it's definitely something that you got to stop and shoot. 